All I have in this world is my balls and my word. And I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? G'day legends, Cast Chronicles. All right, so we're back with another video. I'm going to be answering another question. And so today's question is by at surplus3284. And they have asked, or they have said, I was given Lyrica for a back injury. They didn't work. I had boxes of it lying around. When my cousin got out of jail, he saw it and automatically turned into Gollum from the Lord of the Rings about it. I couldn't believe how popular they are in jail. So, all right, thank you, Surplus, for a good question. And also, so I've realised that a lot of questions are getting missed out here because I think that they're going to make too short of a video or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do some, some shorter questions and if I feel that they're going to be too short, I'm going to add like two questions together or whatnot. I have said this in the past. We just never got around to doing that. But um, so we're going to be, um, yeah, answering some of the shorter questions because I just don't want anyone to miss out on the good questions, um, mainly because I think it will be too short of a video or whatnot. But, um, yeah, all right. So I guess... So straight off the bat, I will say that, you know, Lyrica and Bup are the two main, like, go-to drugs for any any type of of the D-rugs in, in prison. So they are the most popular. And, and I'll even go as far to say is that, you know, Lyrica is probably more popular than Bup these days just because it's harder and harder to get on the Bup. And so they're, they're actually not letting people like say for instance there was a time where if you were on suboxone or the but whatever you want to call it sublocate um so if you were on the suboxone the strips or the pills or whatnot they would let you into the prison system on that and let you to continue to take that in prison but um you know of recent years they have um, even people that are on the methadone, they're trying to get them to swap over to the sublocade, which is the um, suboxone implant. So they inject that into you and then um, over a month that will release over a month and then you have to get that, um, you know, when, when the month is up. So it's a, it's a month-long one, not a, not a once-a-day thing or, or once a week, however, however often you pick them up. But um, – because of that reason in itself that then Lyrica has become more and more popular. And so the actual reason why it is probably the most popular is because you cannot throw a dirty urine for Lyrica. So it doesn't matter what kind of test they're doing, whether it's the commissioner's urine test or whether it's just a normal um, urine test, they cannot test for it. And um, so I have heard that in other states they have started testing for it. I haven't heard this for Victoria, but as far as I knew from when I was in last time, 2021, they they definitely could not test for that. And for that reason alone, that is why it is the most popular widely used um, substance in prison. So, you know, you've got to think that these people that, that are doing it. So when you use the bup every day, generally people don't care if they throw a dirty urine, you know, they may not have visitors or they, they don't care that they lose their visits or whatnot. So with the Lyrica, there is none of that issue at all. So you will not lose your visits because you are not going to throw a dirty urine for the Lyrica. Now, it has, it has become more and more expensive. So I know when, when I was in last, now I, I have – been on Lyrica my basically my whole last two sentences and um and yeah it, it makes for a pretty comfortable jail sentence if you are on it and I say that in jest with a little bit of jest because like you know unless you're going to stand on your own two feet it's definitely not going to be very comfortable but if you can stand on your own two feet people can get a very very steady income going with this and and they do and the reason is because, like, say, I was on um, two 300 milligram tablets per day. And um, so for just one day's dose, it was the same amount as it would cost you for a pouch. So it was around anywhere between, you know, the $25 and $30 mark. That's how much you're going to be paying just, just for two. And you, you get given 14 a week. So, you know, um, that is a very, very good um 
rot, I will say, and that is and and that is why people try and get on this in in jail. So, but also they will not put anybody on this stuff um, when you are in prison, even if you are. If you were on this stuff out in the community and you get locked up, they are definitely not going to let you keep on taking that. Now, I have, I have two conditions that that the Lyrica helps with. So one is obviously my multiple sclerosis, and so the other one is epilepsy. So I also have epilepsy, and so before I was on my Lyrica, I was taking um, five thousand milligrams of epilem per day, and was having seizures. You know, at least four or five times a year and then basically as soon as they started me on the Lyrica that all stopped and so I've so even though I haven't had a um a seizure for about 18 months um to two years um it really definitely like made them go away now even though I'm not on the Lyrica anymore I for some reason haven't had any seizures um, since I have not been on my Lyrica, and but there is talk of me getting back on. I don't want to get back on my Epilim. I'll probably get back on the Tegretol. But anyway, um, yeah, there's a few reasons why it's so popular. Now, also, you know, there's so much bullshit that comes with this. So it's exactly like being on the Suboxone or the Bup or the Chicken Soup, whatever you want to talk, call it. So you are going to have the same dramas. So the same amount of people want this off you per day. And unless you can stand on your own two feet, you are definitely going to be fighting for your own medication. This is exactly why they have stopped rolling it out and giving it to people in prison. So even though I had two, two, two of my um, health conditions, I'll call them, that needed me to be taking it, they cut me straight off it as soon as I got to MRC. So when I got to the map, they let me still be on it and I was saying to the boys like, oh, yeah, like told you they wouldn't kick me off it. I told you they wouldn't kick me off it and they kept saying as soon as you leave the map and you go to either MRC or Port Phillip, they are going to kick you off it. And I was like, there's no way. I was actually put on this at Port Phillip. So I got diagnosed in 2014 with multiple sclerosis and that was the go-to for me that's what they started me on they started me on 25 milligrams so a lot of people didn't even know that there was such uh, a lyrica as a 25 milligram and then they go up to 75 milligram 150 milligram and 300 milligrams so but yeah like i said they they will definitely definitely cause you more trouble than good and especially you know if you don't want any of these dramas i would definitely definitely not suggest that you try and get on these to try and get some kind of monetary gain out of prison. You know, same same as the chicken or the bup, I, I would highly, you know, even though they say that they um, aren't continuing to do it, you never know. And you definitely don't want to get caught up in one of those nightmares. I'm telling you now, it is the worst worst thing you can do. People think, oh, yeah, I'm going to make, make a bit of money, send some money out to my girl, this and that. But really all it's doing is causing you enemies. And then, you know, if you help, this bloke out on one day and you don't help out another bloke, he's going to come up and say to you, what am I no good? Am I a skunk? Am I a dog? Why are you giving him some and not me some? So yeah, there you go. Well, I thought it would make, it was going to be a shorter video, maybe a little bit longer than than what I thought. But um, yeah, it is definitely, definitely the most popular, um, one of the most popular um, used substances in prison. And even though they aren't rolling them out on the med line anymore, people, believe me, are still getting these in on visits and whatnot. Um, once again, mainly because you cannot throw a dirty urine for it. And that is very appealing to people who want to do these things every day. And because like for me, I've said this on many occasions before, you know, especially what I went to prison on my big one for, I had this big fuck you attitude towards the world. I was like, all right, if you're going to take me off my family for what I thought was doing something right, well, then I'm going to act up and I'm going to play up every single day. And, you know, that's exactly what a lot of people do when they get locked up and that's exactly what I did. But, um, yeah, well, there you go, guys. That is a Lyrica video. Um, it turned out to be a little bit longer than I expected, but 
I guess that's a bargain. Um, so once again, guys, um, if you haven't already jumped up there and hit me a subscribe, jump up there and shoot me a subscribe. That would be a subscription. That would be absolutely awesome. And I'd really appreciate that. If you smash that little bell icon beside that subscription button, you'll never miss any of my clips. And um, yeah, if you guys have got any questions you'd like me to ask, jot it down in the comment section. And like I always say, I'll do my utmost best to answer it with a video. Um, I can't promise that I will do that every time, but I will do my utmost best to do that. Um, but in saying that, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. You guys have been awesome. I we am out. Also the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.